A controversial renewable energy project on the Garden Isle could now face legal action. KITV4's Ali Edukalo explains why environmental advocates feel they have no choice but to prepare a lawsuit. The West Kauai Energy Project proposes to divert 11 million gallons of water a day from Waimea River over 65 years to generate hydropower energy expected to meet a quarter of the Garden Isle's electricity needs. Critics argue the proposal needs more environmental review. It's just very frustrating. The community is outraged. Uh, even the process itself was, was shady. Earth Justice Attorney Elena Bryant questions why the Department of Land and Natural Resources approved the Kauai Island Utility Cooperative's environmental assessment of the project. Bryant's concern, the EA was endorsed by an outgoing department chair over the holidays with no public hearing or input from the Board of Land and Natural Resources. It totally sidestepped a board consideration of this EA and and it's the board that's ultimately responsible for issuing KIUC's long-term water lease for the project. The 3,600-page assessment took four years to finalize. But environmental advocates and residents argue that the EA does not go far enough and are calling on KIUC to complete the more rigorous environmental impact statement instead. Brian explains an EIS would more fully explore the impacts of KIU's plan to dump excess water onto the Mana Plain. That, Brian adds, could be detrimental to the river and reef because the water would collect pesticides on its way to the ocean. It's, it's very frustrating. Um, the community has tried to work with KIUC and AES. You know, this was a basic ask and, and KIUC refused. So, you know, it really begs the question, what do they have to hide? Why, why did they take this route? KIUC has noted its environmental assessment is equally detailed as an environmental impact statement. In a statement, a company representative said they look forward to bringing the project to fruition so the substantial environmental, social, and economic benefits can be realized. Ali Iduklo, KITV4, Island News.